Hey everybody, I'm Gardner, the Linux Gamer. Just the other day I asked my followers on Twitter, how do you convince people to try Linux if they're not concerned about privacy, freedom, or the ideals behind free and open source software? And there were a ton of responses. So here are a few of the ways you guys are sharing Linux. At Elementary replied, ease of use, performance, security, and with less maintenance required, for starters. Let me just say that Elementary OS is a great distro that focuses on exactly those things. Now, I hear a lot of people caution me away from the ease of use angle, but honestly, I find my favorite Linux distros to be way easier to use compared to Windows or Mac OS. Now, it may not be the familiar operating system for most people, but there's a huge difference between ease of use and familiarity. So if you're a Windows user and you're hoping to jump ship, stick with it and ask questions. You'll figure it out and you won't ever want to go back. At Social Happiness chimed in and said, I try to make them care on a personal level and then tailor their reason for switching based on where the conversation goes from there. This is another great way to help people make the switch. When I talk to people in real life about Linux, and admittedly this is excluding the 99% of people whose eyes glaze over when they hear the word Linux, I try to suss out exactly what their concerns are, what pain points their current OS inflicts, and have a conversation surrounding those topics, possibly presenting my distro of choice as a solution. At Blowing Up Bits, at Drew's Corner, and a few other people mentioned the fact that Linux distros don't have the annoying updates that always seem to happen at the absolute worst moment. Which is very true. I, I think Windows Update might be the singular worst thing any Windows user ever has to deal with on a regular basis. That is, you know, besides the wanton invasion of privacy, the threat of malware, you get the idea. A few other people like at Gabe Manassa or at PC Gamer for Life mentioned the efficiency of Linux distros. And I found that old computers can run slow, but not necessarily because of the old hardware. It's especially true if they have an old Windows install on there. But pick a slim distro with a lightweight desktop environment, and you'll breathe new life into almost any machine. And, and the same holds true for boot times. My System76 Lemur boots in mere seconds, with the newer and more powerful Windows machine I use at work taking almost a minute. At Cassidy James writes, focus on the experience. Elementary OS is faster, simpler, and prettier than Windows, so it's an easy sell. Over two-thirds of people downloading Elementary OS are coming from closed platforms, and the most commonly cited thing they love is the experience. In our experience, that's the selling point. The open source philosophy might be cared about less at the start, but it's something to discover. And Cassidy's got a great point for sure, and that's something I think it's really important to note. While there were some people who replied to my initial tweet by saying, you don't, which I took to mean we don't want people using Linux who aren't concerned with privacy and freedom, personally I think that's the wrong way to think about it. I believe it's something we should offer to people, even if they don't know what it is or why they should care. I think what Cassidy is saying is that we can present people with a great experience on our favorite distros, and then slowly they'll start to get behind the philosophy. Or not. And that's okay too. What matters to me is the more people we have using desktop Linux distros, the more powerful we become as a community. Another thing people like at Ethan Peacock and at KLion77 mentioned is the extensive customization that you can do to your OS. Besides just cosmetic stuff too, you actually can get quite in depth and change a great number of settings that alter performance, functionality, and, and so much more. Now you might be wondering, what's my answer to the question I posed in the original tweet? Personally, I find that Linux offers peace of mind. When I'm using Ubuntu or another Linux distro, I rest assured knowing my computer's not obscuring what it's doing from me. I don't have to trick my computer into doing what I want it to do. There's no adversarial relationship between me and my PC, and I don't have to defeat the machine. Plus, I'm not having undocumented system-level processes running in the background, hogging all my bandwidth, and some clandestine mandatory app that I have no control over. When I want to know what my computer is doing, that information is readily available, and I know it's trustworthy. Now I want to thank Matt Hartley who partly inspired this video and the great blog post he wrote covering just that subject. There's a link down in the description. But what do you think? Do you want to join the conversation? Leave a comment below or tweet at me at the Linux Gamer. You can always help this channel grow with a monthly contribution over on Patreon or you can smash that subscribe button to see more from me, the Linux Gamer. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and as always, thank you so much for watching.